Okay, everybody. We're traveling on down to Les Schwabies. That's the old one. I told you I was going to show you what the old one looked like. Compared to the new one. Big difference. So that's where we're going right now. So we can get downtown. Like I said, they've been shutting off all the streets. Called civil containment, acting like they're working on some stupid plumbing problem or something. And they're not. They actually get nothing done. They just uh, hold up traffic. See, uh, it seems to be at the major uh, inlets and outlets of all the roads, the major thoroughfares that they're doing this. At any rate, uh, we'll be there soon. Anyway, check this out. They got roads shut down everywhere. Civil containment, I believe it's called. It's ridiculous. They've already paved this road about five times new since uh, they did it about 10 years ago. <laughs> uh, shit. Yep. Anyway, what I'm going to do is we're going to try to get downtown. I don't know. they got all the roads closed off everywhere. Uh, I'm going to try to get downtown and get a picture of this vacated uh, Les Schwabies. Okay, people. There's something else that's going on. Turn off my heater so you can hear me here. Okay. Something else that's going on here is I've noticed they're putting in these really expensive generators. Is this whole system like power is going to go out or something? Anyway, look what they put in here. They put in this really nice little parking lot. Nobody parks in because it's down the street from the school. And spent a lot of money on this. And didn't do any work to the school, which needs a lot of work. It's, I went to school there, Cedar Heights, and it's falling apart. But look at this. You're not going to believe this. They put in a caterpillar generator. <laughs> and it's, I don't think it's, I'm not quite so sure it's even hooked to the school. It's way away. It's got, it's a couple, two or three blocks. Well, it's a couple block, a block away. But look, they got this caterpillar window here. The Caterpillar generator system, it must have cost <laughs> a fortune. Uh, keep out city of Port Orchard, no trespassing, intrusion alarm. Oh my god, check this stuff out. Hold on a second here. Yeah, tell me we ain't gonna go through some emergencies. Look at this generator. Oh my God, look at this stuff. Yeah, this for a school? Give me a break. Look at this. Yeah, right, look at this. Yeah, intrusion alarm. What for? Oh my God, look at this. You got bob wire, top, bottom. They spent a lot of money on this stuff but yet nothing on the school. Look at this. Nothing on the school. Look how far away it is. School's way back there in the woods, way back over there. This place is, uh, for emergency only, it looks like they're getting ready. Look at this. I've noticed this all over town. They're just putting in emergency stuff. Nothing for for old structures, you know, schools falling apart, dilapidated schools. Anyway, and uh, yeah, okay. Well, we're on our way down Les Schwab. So we're traveling. I just want to give a little update. 
Yeah, we just left that other place, the generator house. Um, yeah, it's not for the school. Um, in fact, when the power goes out, they never fire that thing up. It's brand new. They just put in about, uh, God, I would say almost a year ago now. I noticed, uh, well, last summer. So, well, I guess six months, eight months ago. So it's all fairly new. And uh, isn't this beautiful driving down through here, the colors? Yeah, it's gorgeous. Anyway, too bad this is all going to be underwater. <laughs> Um, here's the town of Port Orchard here we're coming into, under the water, and uh, got the Navy shipyard over there. You can see how good that's going to show up through the glass here, but uh, got the Navy shipyard, and uh, all the boats over there. Got all the marinas down here. There used to be a nice restaurant there. That was the nicest restaurant in town. Now look at it. Now look at it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. This town's falling apart. Uh, they aren't doing any work to it. Give you a shot of the marina here. A little town of Port Orchard, Washington. That's where I launched my boat. When I had a boat, and uh, it's a pretty little area. It's too bad it's all going to be underwater. Yeah, watch out for these guys there. <laughs> Rip off bank. And uh, yeah, it's a beautiful little town. Driving through. It's kind of dirty windshield. Go, dude, go. Oh. Coffee shop. Got all, lots of little buildings down here. But they're all old, boy, all falling apart. They just redid this. That guy painted his place. This guy doesn't know how to park. Woman. It's like an obstacle course getting around this town. I don't know where these people get their license, but they don't know how to drive. It's like nobody wants to go anywhere. So I guess civil containment's just fine for them. Yeah, beautiful. We're driving up on Les Schwabies here pretty soon. So, uh, coming up on it. And, there we go, there it is. Oh, it's a car lot now. Look what they turned it into. Ah, a car lot, huh? This is the old building. Now check this out. The pothole. Look at the pothole. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta go. Oh, boy, that's a big pothole. Yeah, look at the building now. All for sale. There's the old sign. Look at what a piece of shit building. What a piece of garbage. No cameras. Yeah. Uh huh. Moving into a zillion dollar building when this one was just fine for him. Look at this place. Yeah, they painted it up and who knows what they're going to sell it. But Les Schwabies didn't need to move. They were getting everything they needed. Everything they needed. Now they turned it into a car lot. This is where they got to store all the cars because they're counted as sold as soon as they're brought to the lot. As soon as they leave the factory, they're counted as sold. So what's happening now is all the car lots 
even the banks and everything are paying vacant lots and they're storing cars on them. They're just storing them. They have so many cars. They're not selling anything. But they have to assume the calculation for selling them. So they're just shipping them out to lots and renting lots and just storing them. I can show you another lot up the street there. That the same people here, Bruce Titus, they're not getting any business. Look, there's nobody there. Tons of cars. Look at all these cars. And they own across the street. And these here. Yeah. And I'll show you up the street where they store out more cars for this lot. Anyway, there's there's the old one. And that yeah, right. Right. You can't, you can't get out here either, you see. Look at that place. Look at that place, man. What a yeah, and then they move into that building. Yeah, look here, he's storing cars back here too. <laughs> oh, people. Wow, society is falling apart. Okay, here we go. I'll show you where they're storing cars up here too. This whole place can be underwater. Look, all these buildings, for lease, rent, whatever. There's nothing going on in this town whatsoever. No business. But yet they moved the tire shop up the hill to the highest point. So when it floods out down here, when the tsunami happens after the earthquake and the volcanoes and Nibiru, that hopefully they'll still be above water. And they got their communications and their spy machines and all their stuff in the other Les Schwabies building that they spent a zillion dollars on. Look, this building's all, I mean, everything. Everything's boarded up in this town. There's nothing going on. But yet, Les Schwabies can afford to move shop. They're not selling any more tires. <laughs> They're not selling enough to pay for one of their cameras. Okay, they're selling, they've got cars up here too. Watch, I'll show you this vacant lot up here. That they're the same place. Bruce Tice is storing their cars up here. Pretty soon they'll be in that lot too. Oh, there's a picture of crap again. Look at the crap. <laughs> Look at the crap. Oh, here it is. Let's see, they got a temporary fence fenced off up here. Oh, they must have moved them out and moved them back down there or something. People must have noticed. They used to have them here. Bruce Titus, yeah. In fact, they will again. Watch, they'll, they'll move them in here too. Okay, guys and girls and whoever else is watching. <laughs> um, we're almost there now to Les Schwabies, the new zillion dollar building, NSA cover Les Schwabies aka Les Schwabs NSA so here we go heading that direction just trying to get there through this town it's almost impossible to get anywhere but I want to show you what the new one looked like again after I went there and made a big deal out of it they pretty much locked stock and barreled the place you'll see they locked up all the back doors now and yep nothing's open look the doors aren't even open they're not even open today wow they used to be open seven days a week especially sunday this is sunday today or wait what is it saturday sunday but anyway they used to be open especially on the weekends and uh watch this now I'm going to walk on over there and pretty much walk through the place again. Do the same exact thing we did last time. <laughs> See if we can get across the street this time. <laughs> 